Here's a story of a small business with a problem. Qualmark builds accelerated testing systems that find defects in electronics. The company is headquartered in Denver, Colorado, but wants to operate globally. The problem is that the firm's clients often take several months to pay for the equipment they order, so Qualmark has lots of money tied up in accounts receivable. Now, if these receivables were in the U.S., Qualmark could use them as collateral to get a loan from a local bank. But most banks are unwilling to provide loans against foreign accounts receivables. What's a small company to do? This is where the United States XM Bank steps in. XM is short for Export Import Bank. The XM Bank is the official export credit agency of the United States federal government. For a small fee, the XM Bank will guarantee Qualmark's accounts receivables to a local bank which then allows it to borrow the money it needs to fuel its growth. Problem solved. In addition to guaranteeing foreign accounts receivables, the XM Bank provides a host of financial services for export-focused U.S. companies. For instance, the bank gives loans to foreign buyers to buy U.S.-produced goods and services. Imagine you sell for Stryker, a global healthcare tech company based in Michigan. You're thrilled to find that Ghana's state-owned hospital system is interested in placing a substantial order for your orthopedic products, but you're facing competition from large Japanese and German healthcare technology companies who also want to sell in Ghana. What can you do to get an edge? You decide to contact the United States XM Bank back in Washington, D.C. You press them to loan Ghana's hospital system the money they would need to purchase your products. The outcome? A boost to company profits and the possibility of hiring more workers back at Stryker's headquarters in Kalamazoo, Michigan. But the U.S. isn't the only country with an export-import bank. In fact, over 80 countries offer similar services. The Exim Bank of the United States, like most Exim Banks, was established shortly after World War II to help companies in foreign markets purchase U.S. goods. It was set up during a time when most countries were ravaged by war and financial systems were trying to get back on their feet. Being able to receive a loan from the XM Bank meant that foreign companies could borrow at a reasonable interest rate and purchase American goods. The Export-Import Bank, also known as the XM Bank, was established shortly after World War II. But World War II ended a long time ago, and worldwide financial circumstances have changed. Many people question whether the XM Bank is still needed today. On one hand, the XM Bank provides something like corporate welfare, since some companies that benefit from it include major corporations like Boeing, Caterpillar, and GE. And these companies don't need government subsidies. They could support their finance needs without government assistance. On the other hand, consider these three facts. Number one, the XM Bank does not cost taxpayers anything. It is self-supported. Number two, more than 90% of the XM Bank's transactions support small businesses. And number three, the Exim Bank has added more than $4 billion to the U.S. economy in the last decade. It's important to remember that most other developed nations have Exim Banks. If the United States got rid of its Exim Bank, then U.S. companies might be at a disadvantage since their foreign competitors are supported by Exim Banks. By helping American manufacturing companies to export goods abroad, the XM Bank actually helps sustain American jobs and keep companies from moving their production overseas. Finally, let's take a worldwide view. The Chinese have used government-supported export credit as a major driver of its global expansion. And other countries, like Korea and Germany, aggressively provide export credit to foreign companies to give their native companies a competitive edge in global markets. With its XM Bank in place, the United States can support U.S. exports and U.S. jobs at a time when they are increasingly under threat.